Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. After several days of debate and discussion late into last night, Guam's lawmakers took session floor this afternoon to vote on several bills and passed all bills on this session's agenda. Unanimously passed into law this session was Bill 26, introduced by Senator Talina Nelson, which would extend the timelines and means of notification for the land for the landless purchases on Guam. Also passed this session was Bill 95, which would modernize the island's signage laws. On session floor this week, the bill's author, Senator Mike Sinicholas, staunchly defended his bill, saying businesses affected by the AG's decision deeming the signage illegal should not have to suffer because of the government's inability to get its act together. The bill passed with only three voting no. Bill 97 was also passed into law, authored by Senator Dennis Rodriguez. It would amend current law with regard to fire codes, building egress, and make the use of sky lanterns on the island illegal. Also passing this afternoon, Bill 69, which would require the Department of Revenue and Taxation to collect fees and issue business licenses for commercial cultivation, manufacturing, lab testing and dispensing of medical cannabis related to the KC Conception Compassionate Cannabis Use Act of 2013. Bill 93, introduced by Vice Speaker Therese Terlahi, was also passed and would improve parole board processes and prevent the family members of victims from having to relive these violent crimes during parole hearings year after year. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maige. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.